everyone, Monica Anderson here again, um, giving you my persuasion speech. Um, again, I just want to let everyone know I was not able to meet with my small group just because of everything going on this week with my family. Um, but I am giving this to my fiance and my puppy who you are most likely going to be able to hear. Um, but that's okay. She's being relatively good at this point. So let's get started. Um, youth groups to focus on volunteer opportunities. This is a huge thing for me. Uh, when I was in youth group in high school, this was my favorite thing. Um, if I could persuade my church to do this more, I definitely would. How to assist those in need. Listening. Listening is... I think one of the biggest gifts that we could have received from God, um, the Lord gave us the ability to listen to others. And I think when it comes to um, seeing those in need, I think sometimes they really need just that listening ear and to know that they're heard instead of being offered solutions. For example, um, where I live currently, if you're downtown, and a gentleman says he's hungry, instead of just waving, you know, $10 in his face, like, here, go get yourself some food, go and get him food, because in that aspect, he sees it that you've listened, you heard that he was hungry, and you offered him that meal. Instead of saying, here, I have $10, go get yourself something, he probably wouldn't necessarily even feel comfortable going in somewhere. Um, so I find that listening to those in need is a huge, huge thing. Offering our services is something else that I find that we could do more of. Um, soup kitchens are a huge one, especially with youth groups. You can go in, volunteer your time at night. Youth group typically, you know, starts around 6, 6.30. Um, head out in a bus, go downtown, serve at your local soup kitchen, head back, maybe play a game or two, and then head out for the evening. Um, a couple other things too where we could offer services is going to be in women ministries. I recall back in high school when we went to a women's only home um, and we cleaned their I believe it was like their, you know, communal areas. Um, but basically, you know, the kitchen, the dining area, and some rooms too, just making sure that they were kept up nicely. Um, but ultimately, just offer our services is going to be the biggest thing. And donating. Donating, we can take part in food drives, donate food, toy drives. It's that time of year where toy for, Toys for Tots are coming out. Um, donate your unused toys, uh, winter gear. These are all things that are needed, especially for those that don't have anything. And these are just areas that the youth group can do, we can do, even outside of youth group. So as the youth group, what can they do? They can go downtown and pass out food to the homeless. Um, they can go to the homeless shelter and offer their services with the soup kitchen. Uh, the women's home, as mentioned before, just helping with cleaning areas. I believe there is one location downtown here where I live um, where it's a like a mother's home, so it's mothers and their children offering services to the kids, you know, daycare, that sort of thing. Um, and then holiday drives is going to be a huge one, especially coming up this time of year. One fun story that I wanted to share with you all to persuade you into doing this more often is Passing out food. When I was in high school, one of my favorite memories was we, I don't know how many hot dogs we had. We had probably close to 100 hot dogs all wrapped up in foil. Um, we walked around at this park, downtown Grand Rapids, 
and we just passed out hot dogs to the homeless and just hearing how grateful they were um a lot of them were this was midday actually because this was my small group that did it um they had nothing going on they had nothing else to do and giving them you know something to snack on helps them pass some time another thing that i really liked um was one night during youth group we got about hmm, close to like 50 little caesar's pizzas we drove around town and just knocked on doors and asked if people wanted free pizza. Um, and I remember specifically one father saying that he was just wondering what they were going to do for dinner because mom was working late and he had his two daughters. They were getting cranky and he was about to order pizza anyway. And so he was extremely grateful that we showed up with a pizza. Little things, big moments, a lot of fun, definitely worth it. Effects of volunteering at a young age. This is huge. So according to United Way, there are five benefits for volunteering at a young age. Those are increasing self-esteem, gaining more empathy, become a stronger college applicant, earn better grades, and also building a long-term generosity. As young adults gain knowledge in these areas, it helps them see the world in another perspective. It's not all rainbows and butterflies. There are some who don't have what we have. And this will help them open their eyes and see that, and see that it is worth giving and giving their time in volunteering. How can we assist the youth group? Providing them with the necessities that they will need. Whether that's, um, you know, if they want to do the Santa shoebox operation, getting them the supplies that they need to fill those boxes and they do the rest. Um, if they want to do a toy for tots drive, get them the big box and then start um, by donating stuff just to kind of get the ball rolling and have others see what we're doing and go from there. Um, but I think the biggest thing is going to be just helping them almost like get the, um, get one foot out there and then they'll just take off from there. These are volunteer opportunities in our local area of Grand Rapids. We have a Santa Claus Girls coming up. This one I'm very excited about as I am going to be partaking in this. Um, just dropping off uh, presents to local families um, Family Promise of Grand Rapids is another opportunity. Mel Trotter Ministries, Women at Risk, The Kids Food Basket, and I can never pronounce this one. It's Degage Ministries. Don't quote me on that. And these are just the locations to serve. Kent County, Downtown Grand Rapids, and the Number Church. Um, the biggest part with this is going back to what can we do to help the youth group. We can drive them to these places if need be. We can help get them there to volunteer. And that's my bibliographies. That is it. Um, I hope that this persuades you to volunteer more. I know working through it it persuaded me to go out there and do a little bit more too. So I'm very excited, especially for the Santa Claus girls. Um, and I hope that you can find something in your area to volunteer with. Thank you.